Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh and in this video I will be discussing about the properties of Amman assets. In our previous video we have discussed about the introduction and classification of uh, Amman assets. Okay. Uh, coming to the properties of Amman assets, so what are the properties like physical properties, chemical properties and optical properties all these things we will cover in this video. Okay. So first coming to the physical properties, so beginning with the solubility. So in the classification of amino acids, uh, one of the classification we have studied based on the solubility, how amino acids are classified, polar amino acids, non-polar amino acids, again polar amino acids with the positive charge, polar amino acids with the negative charge and uh, polar amino acids with no charge. So like this classification we have studied. So solubility wise, most of the amino acids are soluble in water and insoluble in organic solvents. Uh, when talking about melting points, Generally, amino acids have higher temperatures, okay. They may have a melting point more than 200 degrees centigrade as well. So, taste. So, amino acids may be sweet in taste. So, next to the carbohydrate, nowadays uh, you are all know. So, artificial, artificial sweeteners, okay. The people who are like uh, diabetic, who are unable to take the sugar, okay, because of this diabetes, okay. So, they started uh, uh, adding these sweeteners like glycine, alanine, valine, okay. So, they are working as like a artificial sweetener replacing the glucose, okay. So, glucose sweet in taste, okay, but that is a carbohydrate. So, the main problem in diabetes is the glucose, but here these are the amino acids, okay. They give sweet taste, okay, but not carbohydrates, right. So, for diabetic people, by using this artificial uh, sweetener, they will be making sweets and uh, other uh, stuff, right. And few amino acids are tasteless like leucine and few amino acids are bitter, arginine, isoleucine and uh, the main food industry nowadays, all these fast foods, they are dependent on one substance that is monosodium glutamate, okay. Monosodium glutamate is a, a taste enhancer, okay, which is a product of glutamic acid, okay. And that's what I was mentioning, flavoring agent as a taste enhancer. Next, coming to the optical properties. So, all amino acids except glycine, okay. All the 19 amino acids, uh, they show optical properties. Why glycine doesn't show optical property? Because it doesn't carry any asymmetric carbon, okay. So, that's why glycine is optically inactive, right. And Amino acids are ampholytes. What do you mean by ampholyte? Ampholytes are the substances which carry both, okay, both positive and negative groups, okay, in the structure. So, here in amino acid structure, NH2, CH, COOH, are, this is a standard structure of amino acid, but here what happens? In biological solutions, okay, in uh, most of the tissues and in the circulation, okay, this amino acid exists as a, like, uh, what to say, this form, okay, NH3, okay, the hydrogen will be accepted by the amino group and uh, this NH2 convert NH3 plus and after donating the hydro hydrogen, the COOH will be uh, acting as an acid, COO minus, okay, this way. That means, this amino acid is having positive charge and negative charge on the same molecule, okay. Amino acids carry amino group that means positive and carboxyl that means acid groups, okay. So, both are carrying both positive and negative charge. So, such compounds known as ampholytes. So, that's why amino acids are ampholyte in nature, okay. That means they can donate a proton at the same time they can accept a proton. Zwitter ion. So, what do you mean by zwitter ion or dipolar ion, okay. Zwitter ion is a hybrid molecule which contain positive and negative ionic group. So, the just we have uh, discussed, right. So, carrying amino group as NH3 plus positive charge, carrying a carboxylic group and uh, carrying a negative charge, okay, COO minus. So, amino acid can be existing as a zwitter ion. That means at particular pH, any amino acid out of uh, all the 20 amino acids, okay, at particular pH regarding the concerned pH, they do exist as a zwitter ion. That means Generally, they may act as anion or cation, okay, depending on the type of the solution. But at particular pH, they do exist as zwitter ion. That means, at particular pH, amino acid 
carries both positive and negative charge okay and exists as a zwitterion okay so that means amino acid rarely exists in natural form with free carboxylic and free amino groups okay and strongly acidic ph amino acid is positively charged and in strong alkaline ph they do exist as negative charge so each amino acid which are having a characteristic ph okay so where the carry both positive and negative charge so and exist as zwitterion and here one more point to remember isoelectric ph the ph at which amino acid exist as a zwitterion or dipolar ion dipolar in the sense which is carrying both charges okay i mean uh, positive and negative charge okay any molecule which is carrying positive charge and negative charge they are known as dipolar ion or zwitterion okay but the main significance of zwitterion is it doesn't carry any charge why because the positive charge cancel by negative okay and negative charge cancel by positive so they are cancelling each charge okay each one's charge they are cancelling so that's why zwitterion is carrying no charge okay and how to define isoelectric ph the ph at which okay the ph at which amino acid exists as a zwitterion that ph is known as isoelectric ph okay there are different isoelectric ph for different amino acids so in case of lysine it is 9.8 in case of arginine it is 10 okay so like this different amino acid having different isoelectric ph so i have already explained this zwitterion structure so again once again i am uh, writing okay here already in the picture i am showing here so it is carrying positive charge at the same time negative charge so this is called zwitterion 